All right, it's Jack. I'm back, and I'm gonna be reacting to this Google slide about Minecraft I made in third grade. <laughs> this is gonna be insanely cringy. Uh, <laughs> oh no, we did it as a school project or something, and I did it with these with these people. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into this. How to become a pro at Minecraft? By Soren, Alan, Colin, and Jack. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. <laughs> Minecraft history. Minecraft is a sandbox video game where you can do practically anything. This phenomenal game, ooh, good grammar, was designed by Swedish game developer Marcus Persson. Oh uh, yeah, okay, also known as Notch. He began developing this game in May of 2009, and at first called it the Cave Game. Yes, that is correct. The alpha version of Minecraft was released in December of the same year. As the months wear on, sales start skyrocketing. The beta version was finally released on December of 2010, a year after the alpha. Just a full, finally, just a few months later, the full version is released. Title updates have been, been, title updates have been made adding things but they're too many wait what title updates have been made adding things but there are too many to name what <laughs> and why is this minecraft alpha and this is a minecraft alpha picture too and that's minecraft apple wait that might be minecraft beta no it's probably alpha all right next slide i don't know why we got these <laughs> cringy pictures game <laughs> Why did we capitalize that? Gameplay. Minecraft is a 3D, 3D game that nearly has nearly limitless amounts of possibilities. Minecraft has been updated many times since its release in 2009, and there are now many different blocks. One of the reasons I love Minecraft is because of realism. The world is, gen the world is generated by and 16 times 16 blocks called chunks, yes, yes. Each chunk contains many features found in the natural environment, including caves, water, and even forests. Uh, you definitely need copy-paste stuff from Google. <laughs> These chunks together form biomes, which are like different ecosystems. <laughs> each world's geography is unique, and that's because they each contain a seed, which determines everything about your Minecraftian what Minecraftian world? <laughs> Some worlds will even contain temples, but we won't talk about that in this presentation. What? <laughs> temples aren't even. What? what? There's a picture of a village, and you can't talk about temples? Huh? <laughs> what? How to make a dugout. <laughs> How to <make> a dugout? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. For your first night, you should make a dugout to live in. You won't have enough time to make a proper house with good design, so you should make a dugout. First, you need to find a nice tall hill to build your dugout. Your dugout has to be five blocks into the hill. Now dig in a cubic shape, then put your handy crafting table and furnace recipe below into your new home. Also, don't forget torches, unless you want all kinds of creepy crawlies inside of your cozy hole. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Mining. One of the necessary things you need is to mine. Yes, Minecraft, yes. All you need is to do, all you need to do, okay, is to create a wooden pickaxe out of wooden planks and sticks. Once you do this, you have to dig a few blocks down until you finally hit stone. Now, you have to dig up as much stone as you can because this material will help you greatly. It's so cringy not putting a space right there. Once you, oops. Once you mine all the delicious stuff up, but dude, what? <laughs> you can build yourself a furnace, which you can look up Look it up, and more importantly, a stone pickaxe. With your new, I mean, with your newly created tool, you can now mine up a treasure trove of iron. Huh? Treasure trove? 
Once you mine iron, you can use this to create an iron pickaxe, which is needed to mine diamonds. And with that, you can create a plethora, pleth, what, plethora, dude, a plethora. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you use that word. Huh. Of useful weapons, armor, and tools. I, don't, I never use that word. I mostly put that there. Specifics. Whoever, mining isn't just tunneling. At one point or another, you can probably encounter a cave where you can probably want to avoid until you know how to fight. Yeah, we don't know how to fight. We're bad at Minecraft PvP, yes. It's very hard to learn Minecraft PvP. It's not like you just have to press left click. No, no, no. Tip, remember, never dig straight down unless you want to be suffocated by sand and gravel, incinerated by lava, or drowned by water. How can you drown by water? Warning, you also might want to check for caves unless you want to break your neck falling and losing your precious diamonds. I'm surprised the teacher didn't get mad for putting that there. It's probably uh, pretty bloody for uh, third grade. Some Minecraft awards. Minecraft is a very successful game. It's won a lot of awards. For example, in July 2010, a PC gamer listed Minecraft as the number one best game to play at work. A play a word what? in December of the same year good game is that some kind of company I don't know of company <laughs> good game listed Minecraft as the greatest animal game of 2010 it's not like plants vs zombies be the best game Minecraft is very popular and you can play it on the Xbox Wii U yeah yeah I used to play Minecraft on the Wii U. PC, yeah. Sweaty e-girls, yeah, yeah. Wait, don't take that out of context. Nintendo Switch, mobile, cringe, and PS4. Minecraft also won Game City's Video Game Art Award. In conclusion, Minecraft, happy advice, Minecraft, please, is one of the most best games out there. It's one of the best games out there. And if you don't have it, you should really get it. The realism, adventure, and beauty of this game has something for everyone. It's not realistic at all, but, <laughs> but okay. Whatever, what, huh? What? I don't know. <laughs> it's be for the people who want to explore, or those who want to be create fantastic builds, or the ones that just want to sweat on Hypixel. <laughs> all right, so I just went on Microsoft Paint, and I'm gonna recreate the scene that's going on here. I've never used this, so I don't know how to do this. All right, so let's create, um, so Colin is a fat kid. I'm after that. <laughs> so let's do Colin first. <laughs> All right, there you go. Oh my God. There's his head. Here's his hair. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, here's Colin. All right. All right, let's draw Soren. Uh, here you go. That's the small head. Oops. All right, there's Soren. He always he's always smiling, so let's give him a smile. Smirk, actually. All right, let's draw Alan. Oh no, it's just gonna be me, I guess, because I'm probably gonna be in the middle, possibly. All right, I don't have long arms, but that's cool. Let's do that. I did not have glasses back then. I got them in fourth grade. I don't know how to draw glasses, anyways. So let's give me some hair. Oops, my hair isn't like that, but yeah, cool. And let's draw Alan. He's like me, but he's Asian. <laughs> Alright, there's Alan. Let's get him, get him some eyes. Alright, let's draw the little board thing that was showcasing the Minecraft. Handwriting is in this book. And it was Alright, and then we can draw some, some little kid watching us. 